What's up, everybody? Tyson Roush. Let's talk Jets. Thank you so much to everybody that joined us during this live stream. It was not a very eventful game. So many penalties, Very some very boring times, very sloppy football. So thank you for joining us. We truly appreciate it. Uh, the Jets, I think they benched, what, 17 of the 22 starters. So you kind of knew what you are getting yourself into as the game started. But even with that being said, the first half was very sloppy. The defense was just awful. I mean, they weren't even, they really weren't competing. Bryce Hall had a very rough night. A lot of, you know, a lot of um, holes in the zones were getting taken advantage of. Then the Jets' offense was ridiculously stagnant. Mike White couldn't get going. It was just, it was just really, really sloppy in the first half. Second half, Strebler came in, kind of sparked things a little bit. You know, you have a lot of fourth string guys that are playing for the jobs, playing for the careers. So the football got a little more exciting. So I guess we'll go with some highlights. Uh, on offense, obviously Garrett Wilson had a nice couple nice catches, displayed his excellent hands, his route running. Uh, Zonovan Knight, I, I like him as a player. I'm not sure I'd like him enough to make this, you know, if you keep four running backs, I'm not sure if you would do that. So I don't think he'll, he'll like supplant, you know, um, Tevin Coleman, but still like when he brings the table, he's very physical, he's fast. He plays special teams, which is a positive. Um, at wide receiver, you know, Mims made some nice catches. But it, this, the thing about Mims is weird is that he's still not getting, like, second string reps. It seems like he's still, like, third, fourth, fifth string. He doesn't get, I think it was the first three series. I'm not sure. I'm almost sure he didn't play in those. But we can follow up on that. Uh, Cager, Lawrence Cager, once again, displayed, you know, a good run, you know, run after the catch. And to me, it's like if you want to keep four tight ends and keep him, use Ruckert as the hybrid. You can make a case for Cager over having four running backs or six receivers. Uh, who else we got here? Um, Wesco, rough night with a couple penalties. I don't think he's going to make the team. Uh, let's see. And then on defense, like I mentioned earlier, Bryce Hall struggled. LaMarcus Joyner, the starting safety position is going to be interesting opposite Jordan Whitehead. You know, Will Parks seems to be always making plays, but you're not really sure what you're going to get out of Joyner hasn't played. Um, you know, Ashton Davis is not really impressive. So I'm, I'm wondering if the Jets will consider maybe looking at free agency once the cuts start happening. I know they have to have five cuts by tomorrow, but as teams start like messing around with their roster, the Jets probably, if they look at pursuing a safety, uh, who else? You get Tanzel Smart and Jonathan Marshall, both showed really good things. Michael Clemens showed good things. Bradley and I seem to, seems to be improving week in and week out, which is an interesting player because you got to see like how many linebackers are the Jets going to keep, how, keep, how many offensive linemen are they going to keep. So there'll be interesting battles there. Try to mention anybody else. I'm kind of rushing through this because late as hell, I could be at work at 5.30 in the morning. Overall, it's like it's exciting to see the way Strebler played and how the team rallied. So you had the first half that was bad. Second half was much improved. There was some excitement there. But overall, just a very sloppy, ugly game. The biggest story going forward is going to be how much the starters play against the Giants on Sunday and how quickly can this offensive line gel. Because as of now, they have not played together in a game. And they've got to, they haven't played with Dwayne Brown all that much. So you've got to get everybody in sync. You want to get your line calls intact, your, all your, your, your protections and everything else. And it's a very short period of time to do that, especially, you know, like you have the joint practice against the Giants, but you want to see these guys in action, man. You want to get them together and gel as fast as possible. And that, to me, is going to be the biggest story for the next two weeks. So we'll see what happens. Again, thank you guys for joining us. I'll talk to you later.